Before I start this video, I really want to stress that I am an amateur analyst. I use Bolkowski's chart patterns and statistical studies to formulate price targets, and I combine that with a fractal theory to for make forecasts or price predictions, and thus far it has been extremely successful. I've followed a measure move down fractal and a V top fractal, and I'll put links to those videos in the description below. Now, without further ado, let's hop into the analysis. I have Bolkowski's webpage, thepatternsite.com, pulled up above me, and you can see that he actually has a price or a pattern called the Big W, which is awesome because obviously there's a few of these around on AMC. So the first one I think everyone is most familiar with is the double bottom that preceded the big run up, the January sneeze, so to speak. So. I have this double bottom labeled in the same way that Bolkowski has on his website, which is A, B, D, E, C. I don't know why it's in this order. It's okay, though. And when I follow the measure rule, as, as he has listed here, um, is this moving over a little bit? There you go. The price target I got for that double bottom was $9.29. And as you can see, that was the price upon which the chart pattern, this next triangle, consolidated. And at the completion of a breakout, you saw the price just rip and skyrocket. And that upward breakout from that triangle had a target of 1939. Now, Bukowski also has some studies about the apex of triangles and how price trends tend to reverse at those apexes, which happens to be the case here. The price found a high at $72 and then began to come down. These levels, the price targets for the double, double bottom and the symmetrical triangle that followed, which was the handle to the big W, these levels became important price points in the future. You can see here, these are very relevant levels. So this would be one fractal, one version of the, the double bottom that I want to show. So I'm going to go out and show a bigger W, the biggest one, and I think it looks best on the monthly chart. It's huge. It's massive. So it starts way up here. I see this as a measured move down incoming. And then we have these two big lows. And so we have a very tall pattern here. With the incoming high at 34.10 and the ultimate low at 191, you have over $30 of height to the pattern. And you take 74% of that and you add it to that intermediate peak at 771. And the price start I got was 31.53. And of course, the price did move up beyond that, but this is still a very important technical level. Let me zoom out again to the three-year, three-day chart, which is big enough to show everything. And yeah, there you go. Is that an important level? Yeah, it is. It really is. And so while these double bottoms didn't necessarily give us a price target for the ultimate high of the breakout, they did identify points at which the price would consolidate in the future. And that's really important. So... I've shown the big W that preceded the January run. I've shown the biggest W on the monthly time frame that set up the entire run to 72. And now I want to show another W that is starting to form and it's not done yet. But this is this is my best analysis at the time is this kind of speculation. This is really what I think is happening is that we're seeing another W form here at the very end of this handle. This is a handle to that biggest W. And it looks like a flag. Technically, it's not a flag, it's a channel. But if you wanna see this as a measured move up, you can do that, right? Big push up, $70 push up, you come back down to nine, and you never know, maybe we get another $70 run. And this double bottom would support that. I'm gonna show that too. I call this one the smallest W, and I actually have, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I actually have it shown what I think is going to happen. That's that's nuts, right? Like, I've been bearish since back here. When the price was up here, I said, this thing is going to tank. And at the time, I wasn't sure how far. And I had a $7 price target initially. I'm going to revise that and use this analysis of the big Ws to help tune that in. And that'll blow your mind, too. Because on May 8th, I made a video in which I actually very accurately predicted not just the level, but the time of the bottom that we saw. And I believe it is the bottom. It doesn't have to be the bottom, but I believe it is the bottom. 
So here we go. This W starts at the end of the descending triangle we saw that followed the early June, late May run from 2021. And so I used $44.33 for that. The price breaks down, pushes down to 1290, rises to 34.33, and then comes back down to 970. So I took the high here and the low here, took the difference, multiplied it by the percentage mean price target, which is 74% for big W's, and I added it to the intermediate uh, peak. And what do we get? We get a price target up in the 50s, 54.56, and. If the first two fractals represent what will occur on the third fractal, the three reiteration, it's going to be another handle up here, another area of congestion. Now, whether or not this marks a top to form a massive double top or continues into a short squeeze, I do not know. But this push higher from our current level up into the 50s, this could be a short squeeze. And again, I want to stress, I'm an amateur, this is not financial advice, blah, 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 blah. This is just the way that my analysis is looking at the price right now. And it is a complete 180 from the bearish thesis I've been following for six months. Remember when the price was up here and it started to tank? When this bar hit us, I said, that's it, we're going much lower. I flipped from hyper bull to bear right there. And the price has just been tanking. And now the sentiment is so bearish and once again i'm thinking to myself but i think we found the bottom i think we found the bottom and we're going to see this massive run up and we're going to test that all-time high maybe the biggest thing i'm looking for is the price to pass through this trend line and yeah this is the trend line this is the trend line that signaled the end of the run when we ran up to 34 dollars and we didn't break it and it will be the signal for this massive run is pushing above right there. Closing above it, there might be some congestion here, a little pull uh, back into a pattern maybe, or a throwback I should say. Throwbacks are when the price pushes up out of a pattern and then is lowered back into it. And before we see a big breakout upward, I don't know what this is going to look like obviously. Okay, so on the other fractals, this buy line works. So if this occurs again, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to work again. That's just a personal belief of mine. I think that we have some really good bullish divergence here in the RSI. You can see the RSI has moved from a super low, <laughs> what was this, like 17 or 18? And now we're seeing a low around 24, but the price made a new low. So this is a divergence, and we should see some bullish movement. And this little pop here, that is probably what that is. And hopefully that gets another run started. You can see that the implied volatility has now reversed and is positively correlated with the price. So as the price rises, so does implied volatility, with the exception of yesterday, which was pretty crazy. So what am I thinking? How did I predict that bottom? Well, now I have some better analysis. You remember that I had a price target of, uh, let's see what it was exactly. Um, it was like 34, what must have been... Big W, small W, the biggest W. Here we go, 31.53. As soon as I put that 31.53 pattern or price on the charts and I put this downtrending channel, this descending triangle became very clear to me. And so I charted that too. And this was the descending triangle that cued me in to the huge drop we saw at the beginning of the year. So here we go, the descending triangle. It's got a massive price range at 72.62 and a low somewhere down here. I think the lowest low was 28.91. When you take that height and you multiply it by the percentage mean price target for a downward breakout, it's 50%. And you subtract it from the from the uh, breakout price, which is which was hard to find <laughs> because where is the bottom of this pattern? You can see that the low could be up here, it could be there, it could be down here, it could be even lower, it could be down here. I actually used the big W target of 31.53, and when I subtracted that the measure rule from that big W target, the price target was 9.68, and the low we had was 9.70. So when I combined my fractal theory W with my descending triangle, it helped tune that low in to within two pennies of the actual low. 
And that's why I think we've actually found the bottom. I think that this is going to be an Eve and this is going to be an Adam. And if, and that's a big if, if the price can break that downtrend, then we'll see a completion of another big W and perhaps a short squeeze or perhaps a massive double top. I do think though that this is predicated on SPY rallying. And so I'm going to show SPY briefly. I've been following a descending broadening wedge and SPY seems to be trying to find a bottom on that lower trend line. You can see that. And, and just like AMC, if SPY can break above this downtrend, it'll, it'll uh, create a buy pattern or a buy signal. Bukowski has a buy signal. He says, if you have a downtrend, you have a dumb bottom, when the price passes this trend line, that's an aggressive buy signal. And really it's a downtrend breakout and that's that's totally cool to, to go bullish there. Um, you wanna see a one, two, three confirmation before really settling into a trade there. At least that's what Polkowski advises. And so, you know, this wouldn't be like a straight line, obviously. There'd probably be like a couple of one, two, three movements through here. But if SPY can make a movement like this, then I think that it is possible for AMC to complete the biggest W fractal that I've ever seen. And I might even just throw some money at that analysis and see if it happens. Because the last time I had some good analysis, I threw money at it. I did spectacularly. And that day trading project really revealed to me what my mentality is like as a retail trader. And while many people are screaming that the price is manipulated, it's all algos, I think more than anything else, it's self-denial. If we as people understand who and what we are, then we are empowered to change things. But if we live in denial, we will continue to manifest the patterns that we are subject to. And there's a lot of different ways of saying that. I personally have um, more or less popular schools of thought that I adhere to or I believe in. Um, so I don't go into that much, but you know, if you hear what I'm saying, you hear what I'm saying. And so the, the <laughs> I think that I may be onto something. <laughs> so that's what I have for this video. I did it in 12 minutes, which was much shorter than I thought. I really could go into this for hours because the measure moved down fractal and the V top fractals I didn't cover here, but I'll try to find those videos and link them in the description. Remember, this is just my combination of Bolkowski chart pattern analysis with fractal theory, which is what this channel is dedicated to. And if you want more of this analysis and join the community that is growing around me, <laughs> Join the Discord. There is, I'll, I'll leave a link in the, in the video description as well. And there's also a link in the channel description if you go to about. We were talking about the Discord community in my, in, in, you know, on my channel. And it really is true that not all gains are monetary. It is incredible to have people around me to talk with and relate to. And it means a lot. It really does. So. If you are a long-time follower and you join the Discord, you won't be able to comment or message or anything. So you got to get my attention. Send me a friend request, message me, leave a comment, identify yourself, and I'll unlock the ability for you to message. I do like to try to keep it smaller. I'm not interested in having, you know, 10,000 people and they're all chatting and making no sense at all. So, okay, I'm getting rambly. Happy trading.